Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video, and today we're here to do more with Spiritual Awakening. Now, I wasn't sure what to end up doing, honestly, and I'm kind of still debating it. However, I thought that one of my best bets, since I haven't actually, uh, I, was, I, had a, I had a video planned, but I have to actually get everyone's special training up fully before I do that video, and unfortunately that's not done yet, so tomorrow definitely, but for now, what I did want to do, as weird as it may be, is I want to go ahead and dispatch Chad, enhance his weapon to level 80, and we're going to go ahead and look at his stats and everything and see what he's all about, and we're going to do a showcase on him. I think that's our best bet, and I actually think it might be a fun time. So, we'll go ahead and get this done. His level 80 keto is only an uh, HP increase, which is unfortunate. That means he's got completely shafted in terms of everything, but that's fine, I suppose, because it doesn't actually matter that much, especially because he's like... You're not going to use them in your, end, in your end game PvP team anyway, so it doesn't matter that much, basically. But here, give me one second. Okay, so what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to first... Ah, God, that's... It's okay, it's just a little bit bright outside, but we're we're fine. Um, I want to go ahead and go through his skills, because I don't actually think I've been going through those properly, and I think it actually is a good plan. So, Endurance up. When HP is below 50%, take 20% less uh, damage, meaning he has DR link. It's a little bit weird, but sure. HP plus 30,000, pretty solid. Defense up, when falling down defense plus 15%, which means he's an absolute amazing tank. Um, attack increase, good. Ryoku, weird for him, because I actually don't think his attacks are too Ryoku focused, but we'll see. Uh, three minutes, every, wait, three minutes after every defense and attack taken, Attack plus 10% for 8 seconds. So if you survive for 3 minutes, you get a 10% increase. That makes... I don't, I don't fully understand, but sure. Then we get HP 50%. Uh, above 50%, you get defense and toughness, meaning you just tank through everything. Which is good. It's a good time. We're going to go ahead and do a showcase here. And kind of see what that's all about. Um, if you guys do have ideas for what characters you want to see a showcase on later... Do tell me, because I actually do want to get more characters to be able to play as. As I actually have been lacking in that distinctly. I'm going to go ahead. It's way too fucking bright in my eyes, honestly. Um, so go ahead and get this done. I'm using a new micro, new uh, mouse and keyboard, by the way. So it actually might be a little bit weird trying to adjust to this, but we'll see. For now, we're going to go ahead and replace Genryusai with Chad. We're going to do this and put Genryusai as our secondary and see if we can beat Aizen, because obviously, our good old pal Chad can easily beat Aizen. I just realized I didn't show off the skills. Should probably do that after this. Two, one. Just give me one second, I'll, I'll beat Aizen quickly. Shouldn't be too bad, honestly. I'm, I'm losing my, my mouse a lot inside the, the new layout and everything, but I'll, I'll figure it out, I'm sure. If I do my second, by the way, where he like punches upwards, I actually get my attack up, so that's actually very helpful in terms of everything. Slam, 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 although I appear to have missed most of those. His normal attacks actually seem like really fucking fast. It does seem like he's lacking in any kind of good combo. Punch upward, and do this. Yeah, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to pop fireworks here, because I actually think it might be helpful to get some more damage done. However, he was invincible for half of it, so fuck me, I guess. Okay, so his first can't hit when the enemy is stunned on the ground. Makes sense, but now we know. Especially, it felt like it might have because Aizen was, like, close to uh, where the fist would have hit. But, you know, shit happens. Hey, Aizen. Die. We're like Dyson, am I right? Bam, bam, bam. God, that's the worst. That's the absolute worst, but it's okay. So he seems to be very, very iffy against bosses. Imagine his main purpose is going to be a tank build. Um. Oh, God. Well, that happened. It appears that the game broke a little bit, but it's okay. Gives us a chance to be able to show off the attacks of our good old pal, Chad. So his first attack is El Directo. Um feels bad saying that in the way I just did, but it's okay. Basically, it's just a one big hit. It's not that huge of a deal, but it does do a pretty big, like, area, I'd say. We have Majin Scent, 
which is a beam upwards, which increases his endurance, attack, and defense for 8 seconds, which actually is a lot more than I expected. Holy shit. It's helpful. And we have Earth Shatter, which is just like slam down a bunch of times and do a bunch of damage, which is good because it actually does a pretty big area of effect. Also, the, the particles on that look very similar to uh, Trushikai Ichigo's first. Watch. That. The, like, spew outwards looks very, very similar. So maybe that's maybe that's a thing that exists. Um, we're going to do another level of this. Uh, just to show off him against a bunch of different enemies. But I feel like he's not going to be much of a good use here either way. So we'll see here now. We'll pop this. Wow. That was actually incredible. And it's a big area of effect as well. So he can hit across a level, which is amazing. Um, which kind of hits everything, honestly. And his third seems to be very good for just getting like a big area of effect and taking out a lot of people. Not the greatest for like solo combat, it seemed against Aizen, but it was pretty good there. Maybe that's just his his ideal state, right? Maybe they were just too shit to actually survive any of his attacks, so he seemed good. We'll try this again, because I think this actually could be a cool thing. However, I do notice that I don't think he ever uses his... Okay, in his third, he uses his um, El Diablo, but it doesn't actually use, like, it for anything else. Like, his El Directo is the uh, is the pink arm, and this one's the only one that slams down, but it's not a huge deal. Does he, does he uppercut with the white one or the purple one, I actually wonder? Let's try it. It's the white one. Okay, so yeah, he does use it there. Yeah, I feel like... It would have been cool if they had like a full screen where he uses um, the, is it called Brazo de uh, El Dia Diablo, whatever it is? I don't actually remember the full name of it, but it was the one where he used it against uh, Gantin Bane, and he like, created the big skull on the wall. I think it'd be really cool for a full screen if he just punches the screen and then like, it like, shatters outwards and does damage to everyone. I think it would have made him a lot more viable, instead of his kind of shitty build he currently has. Because this, this Earth Shatter is kind of shitty. Um, and I feel like you need Invulnerable Attack to be able to actually be used in the end game anyway. So you kind of need like that driving force. However, what we will do here um, is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a rank up of Sajin once or twice. Actually, I think only once for now. Uh, we're going to try and do a tank build here versus an enemy. And we're going to see how that goes. Because he's going to be the main tank of, of our lives. So, we're going to face Umehara Vampire. We're going to do Aizen in the front. We're going to do Chad in second. And we're going to do Sajin in third. We're going to see how this goes. Um, I feel like Aizen's probably going to carry this a lot. But we're going to see how, how... So, the game crashed once with the black screen. And the game crashed just now, saying my graphics driver is outdated. Which is a lie, by the way. So. Whoa. Gotta love that. So we're gonna go ahead and try this again. However, we appear to be broken here. I do Purgatory. Does Purgatory have the ability to be able to use Chad? Maybe I'll just do that instead. Because maybe that's just what we need to do. Power list. Take these two off. Is Chad here? Chad is not here. Well, I guess we're going to jump forward to when I can use him inside the arena. Woo. Okay. It's it's good now. We can just go ahead and fucking do it this time. Thanks to this game for really enjoying fucking me over. So hopefully this will be good this time. We're going to put Chad and Sajin and we're going to lose and it'll be okay. Just fuck it. All right. Kick some ass, my friends. You can tank all the damage. Chad, you got this. I believe. You gotta do the most damage. Alright. I see Chad doing normal attacks in the corner right now. Not especially confident in his capabilities. It appears that Saji's bringing some work though. That's good. Um, yeah, it seems like this isn't going too well. I mean, I guess we're winning, but like... Chad's just there. He's not even fucking doing anything. He's getting destroyed in the corner. I hope Yoku Aizen alone. Hey guys, you should probably help him. Hey Sajin, hey Aizen, please help him. Please? There you go. But Chad's already dead, so. We're gonna see how much damage Chad did in the end, and we're gonna realize it's not gonna be much. I'm gonna be honest here. 
Um, Aizen, you're alone. Just please kill him. Kill him! He's right there. You have to do one hit. Literally, like one of your thirds, or like your first, or your set, anything. Please. Nope, you're just getting hit by this. Okay, got it. Cool, that's always good. And now we're healing again. And he died from Ryatsu. That's, that is so fucking sad, but okay. Well, we'll go ahead and we'll see um, how this goes, I suppose. I didn't see the damage statistics. Fuck. I should have clicked it. I fucked up. Once more. Bounce forward. Bounce forward. Bounce. Wait. Yeah, so I'll click this and I'll bounce forward to when it's over. God fucking so damn. So we lost that time. And, uh... Chad did more damage than Aizen did. It's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? Okay, sure. <laughs> I guess. Uh, I'm very confused, in all honesty, but it's it's okay. We can, we can deal. Um, I don't really know what else to run to be able to show off the skills of yes, Yasutora, Chat, or Sado. But I I guess we can just do a soul trial and see how that goes. I feel like he's not going to be the greatest, especially against the Aizen. I feel like he's going to... He's going to struggle. He doesn't seem to be very good at one-on-one -on -one confrontation. Because his attacks are mostly based on area of effect stuff. So... You'll see here. What I'm going to try and do is I'm trying to employ a tactic. Alright. Punch him. Get it? You just got to punch him. And it's not... It's not hard. You just got, you just got to punch him in the face. And do it. However, if you miss every single one of your punches, that's not fun. Wow. Um. That was really easy. Let's try this again. One, one second. Hey, Ukiora. Um... Uh... Huh. This is actually really easy. I took barely any damage there as well. Is Chad the best Soul Trial character? Okay, what the fuck? Okay, we, we have 150,000 less power than this Hokyoku Aizen. We're also a 1 star versus a 4 star. Let's see this. We, we, got, we gotta see this. Hey. Yeah, I don't actually take, like, I don't get knocked around at all, except for when this happens. Okay, so against Ho Hogyoku Aizen, he gets destroyed. However, against Aizen and Ukiora, he, like, destroyed because he can actually hit them, and once they get hit, they're doomed, I suppose? Interesting. We're gonna go ahead and use Sajin here, because I actually powered him up in this episode, so why not? Um, I feel like he's not gonna struggle too much anyway. Like here. Slash up, and we'll block here. Yeah, okay. So Sajin is also incredible because he just tanks through fucking everything. I want to do a showcase on him afterwards, but I actually want to get him to rank 14 first. Because I believe that that's going to be his best state. Um, but Chad seems to be amazing, actually. Like, surprisingly so. I kind of want to try him against, like... Wait Ichigo and, like, see what that does. So let's go ahead and we're going to select Chad. We're gonna try this. We're gonna see how much damage I can end up doing by the end. Because it seems like the damage was really, really high versus, um, Two, Aizen. One, so. One. Yeah, so we'll, we'll try this. And it seems like my normals are actually amazing as well. 
I just like continue to do this until like I get my attacks back. This is fucking hilarious. Okay, so El Directo doesn't seem very good um, versus this. However, it could be a good linker versus trying to like get other stuff done. Dude, what is happening right now? Okay, also we have infinite crits on right now. That That is the thing. I, I noticed that. We have only crits going on right now. That's why we're doing so much damage, by the way. It's, it's not because Chad is just the best character in the fucking game. It's because... We actually have the glitch going on where it's only criticals happening. However, this is fucking hilarious. This is actually, like, the best. Okay. This is hilarious. We'll go ahead and pop this, just so we can get the fireworks off. And perhaps slam down. This is fucking weird. Okay, yeah, so, uh... Chad put in a little bit of work, I suppose. 52 million. Um. Huh. That was one of the most surreal experiences I've ever had in this game. And I think it was fantastic. 18%. So yeah. Maybe it's actually gonna be okay. Um, personally, I think that chat isn't really worth, worth investing in unless you're trying to get Ichigo links up. However, I think that he could put in a lot of work like he just did there. So, that's very interesting. For now, I'm gonna say goodbye. I'll see you guys next time when we do a new video. Another showcase. Please, please tell me what you want me to do because I have no fucking idea what to record. Whoops.